Hello. first half they went for two after score number one didn't get it now they get the equalizer so to speak so to speak and you can understand the thinking because they didn't get it after the first score they wanted to get back to a normal points pattern get up to 14 but just think if they missed it here only up 12 to nothing one extra point on the other side could ultimately beat you if they score twice Ryan will bring the Falcons up now first and 10 at the 41 yard line he gives to Gurley it's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. The tackle made at the 47-yard line. It's a pickup of six. Now on second down, this is good. And very little running room there. He did get a couple. 
Apple up to the 49. Just shy of midfield. But that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through. It has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. Third and two, now Ryan. It's caught, Jones. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Ryan to Jones, the Falcon connection there for a first. no good and this score will stay right where it is now listen now no kick from 50 plus is a gimme but here you're indoors in a dome you'd think ideal conditions yeah it's one that he would expect himself to make not just us expecting him to make it over the in a heavy traffic and it's intercepted picked up by Deion Jones the linebacker and he's able to get it back to the 43 yard line Perfect beginning to this football game. Already a double-digit lead first quarter, but their first misstep. And you know how it is, partner. Sometimes when everything's going right, you start to feel like you can do just about anything you want on the field. This one didn't work out. If I were him, I'd go to my defensive captain and say, pick me up, my man. Help me out. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. The first down run with Gurley. Good for only about three. It's second down now. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Jones and it's intercepted. Wilson, the Seahawks take over now. First and ten at their own 24. After the interception, here's Wilson. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him to football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there. And they want in a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Hooked up by Keanu Neal, and they're going to be set up in the red zone. Right around the 17-yard line. First quarter, and now he already has two interceptions. Yeah, he's got a guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game and win. He's got to understand. Put it behind you, keep pressing forward. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. someone's running game you're not doing the dictating on defense and guess what now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time but you still have to be alert for the draws and all the plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt it's a gain of three well they were handed great starting field position on this drive but now they face a third and four Gurley. Gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that's 
sets up a first and goal. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Falcons, nothing. Looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. On first and goal, Gurley. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. And he gets in. Touchdown. Tom Gurley taking it in. And the Falcons draw a bit closer. Dan Quinn's told his offense, let's try and get two more. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. Touchdown, off Richter to kick off. Fielded in the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Throwing again, Wilson. And his throw is incomplete. David Moore, the intended target, but now it'll be third down. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, Wilson. Yeah. He's got Lockett. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. It's a big play on third down for the Seahawks. 49 yards. First down. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. To throw again is Wilson, forced out to his left. He'll run it. The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone came around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. And it's third down. Take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on four. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Yeah. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. Got it inside yeah. the 10 at the 8. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Wilson now from the gun. He'll throw. He's going to take off with it. And it's a Seattle Seahawks touchdown. Touchdown, 
He didn't originally want to run, but he didn't see anything in the passing game, so he scrambled, and wouldn't you know it, he scores a touchdown anyway. It's awfully nice to have a quarterback who can make things happen with his legs. Here's Wilson operating from the go to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Tough there, good pass, hit the hands, he just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. Taking in the end zone. Now this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Ryan. swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Try and start the drive with Gurley. They'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. Benson Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Now it's Gurley. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. For a Falcons first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. Ryan's throw caught by Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 16, first down Falcons. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Here's Ryan to throw. And he couldn't hang on. Would have been their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Play action. It's Ryan. Looking downfield for Jones. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick, and it's third down. Brings up third down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top, unsuccessfully. Looking deep for Julio, and that is incomplete. But one thing's for sure, when you get a big receiver, and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. And here's Hoff Richter now, the punter, as he sends this one away. And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only go to the sidelines when to get out of bounds. Here in the middle of the field, it's still available because you can call timeout and regroup. A well-executed 22-yard game. 
One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They run it with Carson. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. take over first and 10 at the 33 yard line and they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive after the interception here's Ryan got his tight end it's Jaden Graham and he is out of bounds inside the 30 Graham out of bounds second and five after the five yard completion on first down brings up second and five Ryan and that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. The linebacker Bobby Wagner able to get back in coverage and knock it free. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as he'll try to get three before half. This from 44 yards out, left hash. And he missed it. It's a second missed field goal here in this first half. He'll have to think about that going forward. Maybe time for a little soul searching as well. Yeah, the head coach might be looking towards the heavens because you wonder if this will affect the fourth down decision making going forward. If you get fourth and three, fourth and four, situation. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by A.J. Terrell. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It'll be Falcons football, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. Takes this about five yards deep, and no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You don't always feel like you want to get it in the end zone, but then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three. Didn't go through the goal, folks. So. It does test the mental processes of the team, though, doesn't it? Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. But you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to the stretch? And guess what? You need that guy to make the good kick for your team to move on or to win a game. Make sure you keep him happy. Make sure you keep him comfortable. I'm sure you always treated the kicker nicely, though, right? You know, truthfully, I did. Good. I always did because those guys, they won us a whole lot of games. Now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, switching gears for a second. Uh, look, Charles, we know it's part of the game, but injuries, again, a big story in Week 5. Most notably, of course, Dak Prescott. Pretty severe ankle injury that Brian hit and he lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And this guy is going to take over at the 30 yard line. The defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there? There was so much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield, he's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing take care of the football. Well, defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 23 yards, the final tally. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Second down and goal. Wilson. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Accelerating, and off he goes. And he will score. Touchdown, Falcons. 
this is where you have to have the term situational football in your head because this game is pretty much in the palm of your hand and the one thing you can't afford to do, turn the ball over. Now you've given the patient a little bit of a heartbeat, haven't you? And now they're feeling it and they're back in this game. Yeah, still a little bit of a lead, but that makes things more interesting. We're still just in the third quarter here. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will make it into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Their own 21-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one, it didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Eluding the pressure right. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. It was Ricardo Allen there on the coverage. Well, as we normally do, let's look ahead to what's to come here in the NFL for week six. Some changes to the schedule in this most unusual season. But see, I've remarked a few here. I've got Cleveland and Pittsburgh, Green Bay and Tampa Bay. Of course, that's going to be a lot of fun. Arizona, Dallas, Monday night. And then you got Buffalo KC move from Thursday to Monday to account for Buffalo playing on Tuesday in week five. Yeah, well, let's just go ahead and start with that one because that Buffalo Kansas City game, as you mentioned, was originally a Thursday night feature game. Then they moved it to Sunday, and then they had to move it to Monday because of the juggling of the schedule in this most unusual season. Arizona-Dallas Monday night, that feels like an old-school kind of a game, doesn't it? And now we have Andy Dalton, the quarterback for Dallas, and Green Bay-Tampa Bay, that's simple. Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady. And Cleveland-Pittsburgh, how great is this now to feel like it's the old AFC North battle with Cleveland fully in the fight? And the Seahawks from Falcon territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Operating from the gun, Wilson. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Good coverage that time by the linebacker, Deion Jones. Atlanta, Georgia is the spot. I'm glad to have you along for the ride. Third quarter action, second and 10. Sliding out of the pocket. He's going to take off with it. Six yards there off the scramble, but it will still leave him with a third down. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. From the gun, Wilson. Going to throw right side here, complete. And it'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. A Seahawk first down as Wilson finds Lockett. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Dancing to his left. Right open receiver complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Good coverage that time by the linebacker, Deion Jones. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Wilson connects with Tyler Lockett, and the Seahawks add on to their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just get it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away, and the things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he'll just take a seat in the driver to get at the 25-yard line. Their 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Because you're exactly right. All came long. They 
have struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that wording symptomatic? Yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. A gain of two brings up second and eight. From the 40 now on second down, Ryan. And that will not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up this time as that run out on this third quarter play. And now in Atlanta. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. The Falcons on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and eight. The left side completion to Jones. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 42. 17 yards and a first down for Atlanta. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. He's tackled. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Close quickly. It helped force the incompletion. The Falcons on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. Here it's third and two. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. Touchdown, Julio Jones. 34 yards. And the Falcons cut into that lead. They'll try and run it with Gurley. And he will get into the end zone to shave two more points off the deficit. 34, Falcons 20. Now following the touchdown, Hawks will do the kickoff. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And they're on 23-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. <laughs> Operating from the gun, Wilson. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there. That'll bring up second down. At the 40-yard line. To throw again. Wilson escaping the pressure right. And looks for Lockett once more. This time he's got him. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 44-yard line. This throw complete, Wilson finding Lockett. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle! Russell Wilson now with four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. So now a two-point conversion attempt coming for Wilson and the Seahawks. Again, Wilson being chased out, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Tried to roll out and make a play outside of the pocket, but couldn't get it done. When you don't have a lot of space for your receivers to operate, and down there it's really condensed when you're snapping the ball from the two-yard line, rolling out, you extend the play, but you don't necessarily open up better avenues for people. And on that play, there's just nowhere to go with the ball, and you end up getting sacked. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with it? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays. By the ah. This pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 35. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard. 
yard line. Both defenses have had their struggles, but they've been good enough to get them this lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead. It's been a game of punch-counterpunch, hasn't it? All throughout. But this time, the big swing was taken, and it didn't land. Nice play by them on defense. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. First down, Seattle. Now Wilson on first down. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. It was Ricardo Allen there on the coverage. Second and ten. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and ten. Throwing again. Wilson steps away to his left. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off inside the ten. And he's going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Well, all I can do up here is just shake my head. I mean, six interceptions. I cannot imagine what he's thinking between the ears right now. Well, just think of how it is for his teammates because after the first few, you know they're going over to him. Hey, we'll get them next time. Now they're probably a little bit frustrated. Ah. Here's another interception. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Wilson from the gun, he'll throw. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. 20. Jason Myers to kick off. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake. So oh, wide open, complete. Touchdown, Falcons. Julio Jones, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Falcons get a bit closer. I don't think you can get any more. Efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. <laughs> Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Keanu Neal with a safety blitz for the sack. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense out there. Ah. the display, and now they look to polish it off. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 22 yards on the catch and run. A first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now this one complete on the slam route. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. First down, Seahawks. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Tack McKinley made his way into the backfield. So after the sack here, second and 14. Oh, Wilson going to throw. And it's a quick slant to lock it. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Wilson connects with Tyler Lockett. And yeah, the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. So now a two-point conversion attempt coming for Wilson and the Seahawks. From the gun, it's Wilson. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Falcons, 26. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. 
taken about seven yards deep. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Twenty-five yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for Pride. Some people like to do that. It's almost like, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's they get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. He's going to let it fly. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Brings up a third so back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. To throw is Ryan. Oh, they almost had another one. They are all over the football in this game. Nearly another pick. Now fourth down. Sets up. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Again, Ryan. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And they will not be able to look up there. It's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. He'll buy some time running. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Allen Bailey showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. It's second down. Wilson wants to throw it. Buying time to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. And I think the ball's out, and the Falcons grab it. That's unfortunate because he had a nice run going, but give credit to the defense. They got a hand in the cookie jar there, CD. You have to think about vision, finding a place to get down after you know you've gotten all you can out of a run, and obviously ball security is paramount. In today's football, everyone's coming after the rock. You've got to make sure you protect it and protect the yardage you just gained. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they're really incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Makes From the 21, it's second and 10. One yard line. To throw again. Ryan. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The intended target was Calvin Ridley. And it's third down. He was covered. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. And my goodness, another interception. It's Clinton Dunbar with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. At their own 39-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row. There were blowouts. And in none of them, did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead? And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. You know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. He's going to look deep for more. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. It's now second and 10. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. That one looks like he'll throw here. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And this will be caught. We'll forget taking the knee. Some late gamesmanship here as they throw for a late touchdown. Well, partner, when a team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder, what's their motivation? Because if it's me, I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit. But for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is, you stop us. We're not supposed to pull back ourselves. 
Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone.